Okay. So crawl your hands forward, spread your fingers nice and wide, and lower your hips back towards your heels. So keep your elbows and your forehead up off the floor at first. Crawl your hands forward, spread your fingers wide. Start to lower your shoulders down towards the floor. And if you'd like, you can rest your forehead down on the floor. Feel that length of your arms through your shoulders, through your spine as you bring your hips back. Rotate your biceps in a little bit towards your ears, a little bit up towards the sky. And let's bring some focus to your breath. <sighs> Huge breaths in, feeling your body with that breath in. Long breath out. <sighs> releasing tension with the exhale. And just make this a cleansing breath so you can be totally focused to your poses, to your mat, to your intentions for your class today. <sighs> Nice, and we're gonna come into a downward facing dog. So tuck your toes under and bring your hips back. Position those feet hip distance apart. Keep bringing your hips to the back wall and feel that great stretch through your calves, through your hamstrings. Bringing your hips back, feeling the length of your arms, your shoulders, through your spine. Rotate your biceps in towards your ears, upward towards the sky. Come way up onto your toes with the breath in. Heels towards the floor, breath out. Bring your hips back. Again, way up onto your toes. Inhale. And heels towards the floor. Exhale. Ah. Nice. Let's bend your knees deeply. Look forward. And then we're going to come back to your downward dog. Press it back for your downward dog. Bend your knees deeply. Hollow your belly. Gaze forward. And press back for downward dog. One more, bend your knees deeply, gaze forward, and press back for your downward facing dog. Now tuck your chin so you're looking back towards your toes. A few slow motion nods of your head like you're nodding no. Slow motion. And center it. Bend your knees deeply, look forward, and let's walk to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, straight your legs without locking. Send that energy from the tailbone out through the crown of your head. Tuck your chin and look straight down to the mat. So feel the stretch of the back of your legs here. Just hold and enjoy. Smooth breaths here. And then bend your knees deeply and hang heavy down towards the floor. Turn the top of your head down. Bend your knees and then bring those shoulders around. Circle them around, releasing the tension in the shoulders and the neck. And then a few slow motion nods of the head like you're nodding no. Center it, nod your head yes a few times. And then just hang heavy down towards the floor. Let's lower your hips and come all the way up. Standing up nice and tall, then arms down by your side. Shake your arms out, shake your legs out. <sighs> nice, come on up with a huge breath in. All the way down, exhale. <sighs> Halfway lift, inhale. Fold it down, exhale. <sighs> come all the way up, huge breath in. And all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold it down, exhale, come all the way up again. Squeeze your glutes, slight arch, look up to the sky, then all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, fold it down, exhale, come all the way up and let's stay up. And arms down by your sides. Nice, big circle around with your shoulders. And let's bring your hands behind you. You can take a strap between your hands if you'd like, or even a shirt or anything to bring space if you need it. So roll those shoulders back, open your chest, lift your heart up to the sky, bring your hands towards the end of the mat, open up your chest here, hold and breathe. Huge breath in, then slowly hinge at the hips, bend your knees, 
Go slow, lowering it down, turning the top of your head down towards the floor. Bring your hands up to the sky and a little bit overhead towards that end of the mat. Feel that great stretch of the back of your legs. Ah. And bring your hands to your lower back, down to the floor, and sit back into your chair pose. So draw your navel in, lower your hips. You should be able to wiggle those toes and then place them back down. Bend your thumbs and biceps to the sky. Lower your hips a little bit more. Lift your arms up a little bit higher. Mm. Nice hands down to your heart center and fold it all the way down. Halfway lift, straight your legs without locking. Fold it down, come all the way up. Squeeze your glutes, slight arch in your back here. Then all the way down. Mm. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold it down, exhale. Step it back and let's go into a plank position. So let's bring your feet together. Press your hands into the mat, firming up those shoulders. Draw your navel up towards your spine. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Bring your heels towards the end of the mat. Mm. Nice, we're gonna tap both knees down towards the floor and then slowly squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Tap both knees down, hollow your belly and then straighten. Tap it down and lift. A few of these, tap down and lift. Hollow your belly, keep your heart forward and breathe with it. Down, squeeze your quads and glutes. Down and lift. Four more, here's four, hollow. Here's three, here's two, and one, press back for your downward facing dog. Separate your feet hip distance apart now. Ah, nice, get nice and long. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. Mm. Nice and come down onto your knees, hands and knees. So bring those hands right underneath your shoulders. Walk your knees a teeny bit closer than hip distance. You're gonna press your right foot to the sky Press it way up and then let your belly drop. Arch it here. And then bring that knee in towards your forehead. Hollow your belly. Press your hands into the mat. Really scoop your abs up high. And then press that right foot to the sky with an inhale. And then round it with your exhale. <sighs> Sunbird. Inhale. Exhale round. <sighs> inhale. Press up. Exhale, round your back. It's like cat and cow. Inhale, press up, drop your belly. Exhale, round it up. One more time. Press it up, inhale. And exhale. And bring that knee down towards the floor. Nice. And let's press your left foot to the sky. Drop your belly. Arch it. It's like you're bringing your heel towards the back of your head. And then slowly bring it in, round your back, scoop your abs up high, press your hands into the mat, hollow up your belly more, and then press it up with an inhale, and exhale, round it up, <sighs> nice, press it up, inhale, and round it up with your exhale, <sighs> a few more, press it up, and exhale, <sighs> again, press it up, inhale, and exhale, <sighs> One more, press it up and exhale and bring that knee down. Walk your knees hip distance apart, round your back, scoop your abs up high. So bring your hips forward, hollow up your belly more, press your hands into the mat and turn the top of your head down. Then turn your tailbone up, drop your belly, arch it with an inhale and then come to neutral spine. We're gonna lie all the way down on your belly. So first, just stack your hands and rest your forehead down. You're gonna lift your right leg and straighten your leg and point your toes to the end of the mat. So think about squaring your hips and rib cage to the floor so you're not rolling off to one side. And just straighten that leg completely, point your right toes to the end of the mat. Get it so long and just hold it here. Really extend your legs. And 
and lower it down. Lift that left leg up, lift it up. Straighten your leg, point your toes to the end of the mat. Lift it up a little bit higher. Notice your hips are square to the floor, center them. Extend your leg a little bit further, really lengthen that leg. Straighten it completely, huge breath, and lower it down. <sighs> nice, bring your arms out in front of you. Look down to the mat. Lift that left arm, right leg up, and lower down. <sighs> right arm, left leg, lift up, and lower down. So opposite arm and leg, lift and reach with your inhale, lower down with your exhale. Lift and reach, inhale, lower down, exhale. Keep this going. I want you to think about lengthening that leg and straightening it. Lift and reach, and lower down. Lift and reach and lower down, nice. Also think about reaching that right arm forward and lower down. Lift that left arm up and reach and lower down. A few more times, opposite arm and leg lift, slowly lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale and exhale. One more time each side, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Nice job. Now bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Hug your elbows in by your sides. Tuck your chin slightly. Lift up with the breath in and lower down. Breath out. Keep your chin tucked. Lift up with your inhale and lower. Exhale. So there's no pressure in your hands. You're using the muscles in your back to lift up and lower. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more. Breath in. And breath out. Use your hands to press up onto your hands and knees. So round your back. Scoop your abs up high. Bring your hips forward and hold this here. Press your hands into the mat. And then turn your tailbone up. Drop your belly. Arch it with an inhale. And then come to neutral spine. <sighs> nice. So walk your hands a little further forward. Come into your downward facing dog. Bring your hips back and get so long here. Really feel that length through your body. <sighs> Next, we're going to be turning into a straddle position. So whichever leg you want to lift up to bring through so that you can turn into your straddle position. So we're going to come down into your squat. So from your hip to your knee, wherever this line goes here, I want your feet to be in that same direction. Get low so the knee stacks right over the ankle, making sure you separate your feet enough. And then reach up with your inhale, elbows by your sides. Reach up, inhale, and exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time each side. One more inhale. And exhale. So stay low here. Bring your hands to your heart center. Shoulders are back and down. Draw your navel in. Get a little bit lower. Lift those toes up a little. Spread them down. Squeeze your glutes. Bring your knees to the wall behind you. Try not to hinge from the hips. But think about stacking the shoulders over your hips. Right forearm goes on your thigh. Reach that left arm up. Arch it over just a little bit. Stay low in your squat. Come to the center. Hands to your heart. And then other side. Arch it over. Sink down. Get that side stretch. Come to the center. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. Come to the center. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stay low in your squat. We have one more time each side. Come to the center and reach. Come to the center and reach. 
Come to the center and hold here. Relax your shoulders down. Squeeze your glutes, build that strength and stability. Knees to the wall behind you. Keep your heart lifted. And hinge it from the hips. Walk it over to your right. Maybe separate your feet a little bit further. So walk it over to that right foot. Left leg is straight. Think about bringing your hips back. So you're getting nice and long here in that left side, that left inner thigh. Bring your hips back in your side lunge. Walk it to the center, bend into that left knee. Make sure the knee is right over the ankle. Bring your hips back, you're almost falling back. That right leg is straight, inner thigh stretch. Walk it to the center with an inhale. Bend it over into that right foot. Walk your hands over there. Come to the center with an inhale. Walk center. Exhale, bend into the left. Mm. Inhale to the center. Walk it over to the right. Mm. Inhale, center. Exhale, over. Still bringing your hips back to the wall behind you. Inhale, center. One more time, each side. Come to the center, inhale. Bend into that left knee. Mm. Come to the center, turn your feet to the edges of the feet or parallel to the edges of the mat. Hinge it over completely, let your upper body hang down. A few big circles with those shoulders. Circle them around. Release them down towards the floor. A few slow motion nods of the head. Nice, and come on up onto your fingertips with the breath in. Fold it down, breath out. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, that front foot pivot, step it back. We're gonna take a flow, lowering down to the mat. For cobra or your up dog, your choice, and press back for downward facing dog. Ah, nice, bring your hips back, it's so long here. Mm. When you're ready, lift your left leg to the sky. Turn and open your hip to the side. Bend at the knee. Get heavy in the right heel. Then straighten the arms. Square your shoulders back towards the floor. Extend your leg. Bring that foot down to the floor. Lift your right leg to the sky. Turn and open your hip to the side. Bend at the knee. Straighten the arms. Square your shoulders back towards the floor. And extend your leg, come forward into your plank, take a flow, lower down. <sighs> breathe in, lift your heart. Press back, breathe out, downward dog. <sighs> Lengthening your breath. <sighs> Let's lift your left leg to the sky. Bring your knee to the opposite elbow in your plank, hollow your belly. Press back with an inhale. Knee to the left elbow in your plank. Press back with an inhale. Come to your warrior one pose. Come on up. So sink into that lunge. Knee stacked right over the ankle. So your hips and chest are forward. Feel the back foot. Lift your toes up in the front and spread them down wide. Deep breath in. And just bring your arms around for a big circle around. Really open up your chest and your shoulders. Inhale and exhale, bring it back. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come on over the breath in and open up for your warrior two. So make your feet a little further apart from each other. Square your hips to the floor. Draw your navel in and lengthen your lower back down. So think about squeezing your left glute and bring that knee in line with your toes. Shred your shoulders up and lengthen out through your fingertips. Draw your navel and lift your heart so tall. Smooth breaths here.
slide forward to lengthen, turn your palm up and reverse your warrior. So relax the right shoulder down, sink down, reach up to the sky. Bring it back to warrior two, forearm on your thigh, right arm overhead. Press like you're stretching the mat back with the right foot. Rotate that right lung towards the sky. Keep space between your left ear and shoulder here. And bring it back to warrior two. Reverse with your inhale and windmill your hands to the floor. Listen up, we're gonna go onto your toes in the back and push off to step forward. Halfway lift, inhale, fold it down, exhale. Come all the way up, turn to your right. <sighs> Come all the way up, rotate left. <sighs> Come all the way up and all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, fold it down, step it back, take a flow or go right to your downward dog. Always your choice, use your strength, use your breath. <sighs> Press back to your downward facing dog. Mm. Tug your chin so you're looking back towards your toes and your neck is long. Bring your hips back, feel even more length through your arms, through your shoulders, through your spine. Mm. Lift your right leg, bring your knee to the opposite elbow, haul your belly, press back in heel. Knee to your right elbow. Press back in heel. And come to warrior one. Come on up. Reach to the sky. Tuck that right hip in and back. Left hip forward. Feeling your back foot. Lifting your front toes up. Spread them down wide. Deep breath in, bring those arms around. Really open up your chest here. Make that effort. Huge breath in. Slowly bring them around. Your heart lifts up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale. Still bending into that lunge in the front one more time. Inhale and exhale. Come on up with your inhale and open up for warrior two. So make your feet a little further apart from each other. Square your hips to the floor. Lift tall through your spine and lengthen out through your fingertips. Nice gaze over those front fingertips. Sink down. Press like you're stretching the mat apart with your feet. Bring them in towards each other and find that neutral position. Really lifting tall and confidently through your spine and relaxing, lengthen out through your fingertips. Slide forward to lengthen, turn your palm up and reverse. So relax the left shoulder down, sink into the lunge, reach up to feel that stretch of the right side of your body. And bring it back to warrior two. Then forearm on your thigh, left arm over. Rotate your left lung towards the sky, bend into the lunge. Get that long side stretch, keeping space between the right ear and shoulder. Smooth breaths here. And bring it back to warrior two. Reverse with your inhale. Windmill your hands to the floor. We're gonna go on to your toes in the back and push off to step forward. Halfway lift, inhale, fold it down, exhale. Come all the way up, rotate to your left. Come all the way up, turn to your right. Come all the way up and all the way down. Halfway lift, straighten your legs without locking and fold it down. Step it back and take a flow. Use your strength here. Really firm up those shoulders. 
Breathe in, really open up your heart forward and press back for downward facing dog. Ah, nice. Bring those hips back and get so long here. You're going to lift your right leg. So lift your right leg. Nice. And you're going to bring it forward into your plank, knee in towards the opposite elbow. Then you're going to kick that right leg through. And you can turn onto the inside of your back foot and lift your left arm to the sky. So my leg is going straight out. I'm reaching up. Press your hips up towards the sky. Hold this here for a few breaths. Nice and fold it down. Bring that leg back through. Press to the back wall and bring that foot down. Lift your left leg, bring your knee to the opposite elbow in your plank, hollow your belly. Kick that leg through, turn onto the inside of your back foot, reach to the sky. So press your hips up, use your strength here, straighten the back leg, press your hips up, hold and breathe. And fold it down, bring that leg through, press back for your downward facing dog. Ah, nice, tuck your chin so your neck is long. Lift your left leg, bring it through to a crescent lunge. Put your block on the inside of your front foot. So the knee stacks right over the ankle. Relax your shoulders down. Bring your forearms towards each other. Let's open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other, straighten the front leg without locking, and then bend back into your lunge. So open up with your inhale, and bend into your knee, exhale. Open inhale, and exhale. A few more inhale, and exhale. Inhale, open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Reach to the sky, hold this here. Heel, right heel towards the back of the mat. Huge breath in, hands to your heart. Hinge it over, draw your navel, and place the right hand on the block. So bring your heart forward, slowly turn to the left. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. Bring that right heel towards the end of the mat. Hold this here for a few breaths. Come back up to the center. Use your balance. Come on up here, inhale. Hands to your heart. We're gonna hinge it over. You can put your hand on the block or upper arm to the outer thigh. Slowly turn to your left. Bring that right heel towards the end of the mat. You're welcome to keep the hand on the block, left arm to the sky, or hold this here. And fold it down, hands to the floor. Step your back foot halfway up. Come up onto the tall end of your block, way up onto your fingertips. Turn your tail onto the end of the mat and bring your heart forward. Center your weight between both feet. Huge breath in and slowly fold it down. Ah, you can bring the, keep the block tall, turn a little lower. Find a good place for you. If you don't have a block, your hands are on your shin, you just slide them down. Just make sure you don't put a lot of pressure on your leg. But center your weight between both feet. Think about lifting your left hip up and folding down, but make sure it's a comfortable stretch so that stretch of the back of your leg is not too intense. Mm. Hold and breathe here. Mm. 
Nice. Center yourself. Lift the hips. Fold it down. We have five more breaths here. Nice. Now soften both knees. Step it forward. Feet under your hips. Move your block. Come all the way up. Squeeze your glutes. Open up here. And all the way down. <sighs> Halfway lift in here. Fold it down. Exhale. Step it back. Take a flow here or go right to your downward dog. Breathe in. Open up. Breathe out. Press back to your downward dog. <sighs> nice. Bring your hips back. Tuck your chin to keep your neck long. So the top of your head goes towards your thumbs. Bring your hips even further back. Pretend I'm holding your hips and I'm pulling you towards the end of the mat to really get that length through your whole body. Mm. Lift your right leg. Come to crescent lunge. Put your block on the inside of your front foot. So stack that knee right over the ankle. Relax your shoulders down. Mm. So you're going to bring your forearms together. You're going to open up here. Make an extra effort to squeeze your shoulder blades and bring your elbows behind the body. Straighten your front leg without locking. Bend your knee. Open up with your inhale and exhale. Open inhale and exhale. Keep it going. Inhale and exhale. Lift your heart up a little more and exhale. Squeeze your shoulder blades a little more here and exhale two more. Open up and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Reach to the sky here. Hold your crescent lunge. Deep breath in, hands to your heart. Hinge it over, place your hand on the block. So bring your heart forward and then slowly turn to the right. Reach to the sky. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. Keep your thigh close to your center so you're pressing your front foot flat to the floor. Left heel towards the end of the mat as you let your hips lower some. Get comfortable in your pose. And then slowly come back up to center. Find your balance again. Come on up. Deep breath in, hands to your heart, hinge it over. Feel free to put your hand on the block or upper arm to the outer side, turning again to your right. Rotate, sink into the lunge, draw your navel and you'll be able to get a little more rotation. Smooth breaths here. Three more. And hand to the floor. Bend your back knee. Hop that foot halfway up. Come up onto the tall end of your block, way up onto your fingertips. So turn your tailbone to the end of the mat. Bring your heart forward. Center your weight between both feet. Huge breath in. Slowly lower down. You can slide your hand down if your hands are on your leg or turn your block a little bit lower. Center your weight between both feet. Lifting the right hip up. Fold your chest down. So really scan your body and find a comfortable place here, making sure it's not too intense through the back of that right leg. Think about lifting the right hip and folding down, but if you need to back off, come taller up on the block or soften your knee a little more. Find what works for you. Keep the breath flowing. That Flowing breath, huge breath in to nourish and oxygenate your body. Long breath out, release the toxins, release whatever your body needs to let go of. Five more breaths here. Center your weight.
and soften your knees. Step it forward, move your blocks. Come all the way up, squeeze your glutes right here. Hold this a little bit here. Squeeze your glutes, let your hips go forward. Lift your heart up even tall, look up to the sky. This light arch here in your back and you slowly come down. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold and hold this here. Turn the top of your head down. Bring your hands to your elbows. Lift your chest and forearms up towards the front end of your mat. Then fold it down to get a little more length through your spine. You're letting your upper body hang down. You can do a gentle rock side to side. And make a semicircle around your feet with your forearms. Ah, keep your knees bent. And center it, hands to the floor. Step it back. Take a flow or go right to your downward dog. Go slow. Use your breath with each part of the pose. Press back for your downward facing dog. Ah, bicycle your legs, one heel towards the floor, the other heel is up and your knee is deeply bent. You're holding, you're straightening your arms. Switch to the other side, heel towards the floor, straighten the arms, bring your hips back. Come way up onto your toes with a breath in, heel towards the floor, breath out. Bring your hips to the back wall. Mm. Nice. Come down onto your knees, onto your hands and knees in your tabletop again. So press your hands into the mat to lift your chest from the floor and firming up those shoulders. Draw your navel up. Nice. You're going to lift your left arm and your right leg. Extend it out nice and long, squaring your hips to the floor. Press that right hand into the mat. Now you can keep staying here. Or another option is to reach back and hold on to the top of that right foot. You can press your foot gently into the hand. You're letting your chest open to the left and that thigh lift up a little higher. Hold and breathe. Keep that right shoulder firm as you press your hand into the mat. Feel free to stay extended. We have three more breaths. And lower it down, knees under your hips, around your back, scoop your abs up high. Turn your tailbone up, drop your belly, arch, inhale. And then come to neutral spine. <sighs> Press both hands into the mat to lift your chest from the floor. Draw your navel up. Extend your right arm out, left leg out. So balance here, square your hips to the floor. Press that left hand into the mat. Stay here and continue to balance like this or reach back and hold on to the top of that left foot where your shoelaces would be. Let your chest open to the right. Press your foot gently into your hand. Your thigh lifts a little bit. Hold and breathe. Find your pose. Three more breaths. and fold it down, nice job. Walk your hands forward, find your downward dog, press your hips back. Get nice and long here. Lift your left leg, we're gonna come into a warrior one pose. I'd like you to put your block on the inside of your front foot and it's in the position where it's halfway. The height is half. Sink into the lunge. So tuck your left hip in and back, your right hip forward. Hold your warrior one. We're gonna be moving into our revolved triangle. So bring your hands down to your hips. Hop your back foot halfway up. Tuck your left hip in and back and straighten the front leg. Let your right heel turn back more so your hips are forward. Draw your navel in so tall through your spine, hinge from the hips. Place your right hand on the block on the inside of your foot. Bring your heart forward to your spine is nice and long. 
Think about tucking that left hip in and back. This can be a pose just like this. You can stay here, or you could add a rotation where you turn your chest to the left. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. Try to keep that left, sorry, right heel down in the back. Draw your navel and maybe you get a little more rotation. Hold and breathe here. Nice, three more breaths here. And fold it down. Soften your knee in the front. Crawl that foot over to the edge of the mat. Crawl your back leg down behind you, way down towards the end of the mat, and you're gonna be in a long lunge here. Your left foot is right over to the edge. Maybe part of that foot's off the mat. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders, and you have a line across the front of your mat, foot, hand, hand. Bring your heart forward. Feel free to put your knee down on the floor if that feels better for you. Find a good place for you to hold this long lunge. Three more breaths. Lift your hips, press that left foot to the back wall, bring that foot down. You can hold your downward dog or take a flow. Your choice always, breathe in, press back, breathe out. <sighs> nice, get so long. Mm. Lift your right leg, bring it to warrior one, put your block on the inside of your front foot. Your hips are forward, your chest is forward. You're in your warrior one pose, relax your shoulders down. And bring your hands down to your hips. You're gonna hop your back foot, Halfway up, slowly straighten the front leg as you tuck your right hip in and back. Let your back heel turn back a little more as you let your hips go forward. Huge breath in, so tall through your spine, hinge at the hips. So keep a long spine here, and then bring your left hand to the block on the inside of your foot. There's all different heights of the block. Find a good place for you. Tuck the right hip in and back. Your spine is long and you could stay here and this can be your pose just like this. Or you could add the rotation, slowly turning your chest to the right, reaching to the sky. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. See if you can keep that back heel towards the floor. Smooth breaths here. Draw your navel and maybe you get a little more rotation. Three more breaths. Excellent, fold it down, soften your knee. You're walking your back heel, back foot further back and you're crawling your right foot over to the edge of the mat and maybe a little further forward. So find a good place with your hands right underneath your shoulders. Your foot is almost or partially off the mat you have a line across the front of your mat, hand, hand, foot. You're bringing your heart forward, left heel towards the end of the mat. Feel free to bring it down on your knee if that is more comfortable for you. So hold your long lunge for a few breaths here. One more breath and lift your hips, press that right foot to the back wall, downward facing dog, stay here or take a flow, come forward, lower it down, breathe in, draw your navel and press back for downward facing dog. <sighs> nice, bend both knees deeply, Look, walk forward, halfway lift, fold it down, come all the way up, turn to your right, <sighs> Come all the way up, 
turn left, <sighs> so tall through your spine and fold it all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, fold it down, exhale. Step it back. You could go right to your downward dog or take a flow here. Breathe in, press back, breathe out. <sighs> One more time, bend your knees, look forward. Jump or walk forward. Halfway lift, inhale, fold it down, exhale. Come all the way up, turn left. <sighs> Come all the way up, turn right. <sighs> Come all the way up and all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, fold it down, step it back. Your choice of going right to downward dog or use your strength here. Breathe in, press back, breathe out and stay here. Ah, <sighs> releasing breath. Mm. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. Mm. Lift your left leg. Bring your knee over to the left of your wrist. Back knee down, toes out. Crawl your ankle over towards your other wrist. Crawl your back leg behind you or lie on your back for your figure four. Squaring your hips and shoulders to the floor. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. You can stay high up on your elbows or see if you can lower down. By widening your elbows, stack your hands or fists and resting your forehead down. Make small, slow adjustments to get comfortable here. Maybe it's intense and you tuck your toes under, bring your hips a little closer. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Get nice and heavy here. Hold and breathe. Enjoy that smooth rhythm to your breath. Give yourself a little bit longer here in class to clear the mind. Feeling light and peaceful. Absorbing that positive energy, that strength within. Five more breaths. And slowly come up. Hands on the floor. Hold this here for a moment and bring your heart forward. You can stay just like this or bring your toes up towards the back of your head. Reach your toes towards the back of your head as you bring your heart forward. You can stay just like this. Or you could move your left hand right into the center for balance and reach your right hand back. Not to pull on your foot, but to hold it in place so that right hip opens up, keep your heart forward. You can stay here or turn your hand to the inside of your foot. Your thumb goes along your big toe. Your chest opens to the right as well. Hold and breathe for a few breaths. Slowly lower it down. Hands under the shoulders, tuck your toes under, bring your hips closer. Ankle behind your knee, press to the back wall. Bring that foot down. Lift your right leg. Bring your knee over to the right of your wrist, over to the side of the mat. Back knee down, toes up. Crawl that ankle over. Crawl your back leg behind you some. Come down onto your forearm. So think about it, you don't wanna roll off to your right cheek, you wanna square your hips, which means your hips are the same distance from the floor. You can widen your elbows, stack your hands or fists and rest your forehead down. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Just let all those kinks in the body release. Mm. Allow all those tangles in the mind 
to untangle, to release and simplify. Just letting thing ha things happen without control. Just go with the flow and let things happen. Relaxing your shoulders throughout your day. Lengthening your breath throughout your day. Standing tall and proud and confident throughout your day. Keeping your heart open and positive. That natural way to brighten your day is to open up the heart. Let your hips and shoulders get heavy here. Five more breaths. And slowly come on up. Hands underneath your shoulders here. Bring your heart forward. And this can be your pose just like this. Or you could lift your left toes up and bring them towards the back of your head. Maybe you stay just like this. Or bring your right hand in the center and bring your left hand back. Hold on to the top of your foot, not to pull, just to hold the pose here. And you can stay here or turn your hand to the inside of your foot. Your thumb goes along the big toe. Awesome. Find your pose. Find what works for you. And make sure it's a gentle stretch. And slowly release, nice job, hands right underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes underneath, bring your hips closer. Ankle behind your knee, press to the back wall. Give me one more downward dog here. Get so comfortable, feel the difference from the beginning of class. Lengthening your whole body here. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. <sighs> Releasing breath. And let's bring your legs around. We're going to lie on our back. <clears throat> nice. Feet are hip distance apart. Arms by the sides of your body. Nice and slowly peel your spine off the mat. Press your hips up. Puff your chest up towards the sky. Press it way up. Open your chest some more. You can stay just like this, puffing your chest or clasp your hands underneath your body. And do a gentle rock side to side as you tuck one shoulder under, then the other, and then a few rocks side to side, tucking those shoulders under if you'd like. So puff your chest up more, press your hips up even more. Press your heels into the mat. I want you to engage those glutes, squeeze them. Squeezing your quads. Pretend you have a block between the knees so even your inner thighs engage. Puff your chest out more. Your upper arms press into the mat to expand, open your heart. Keep breathing and puff your chest up way up high with a huge breath. Then untuck your shoulders, little by little, untuck them, hands up by the sides, lower down. Nice, bring your right knee in towards your chest, extend your left leg out. Take this right leg, bring it across the body, over to the other side. Take your right arm to the sky, right arm out to the side. So bring that right shoulder towards the floor, Hold and breathe, that detoxifying twist. Nice, boosting your immune system, improving your digestion, get that rotation, rinsing out here.
And slowly bring it back to center. Place both feet on the floor. Lift your hips up. Center your hips down. Bring your left knee in. Slide your right leg out. Deep breath in. Guide this left leg across the body. Take your left arm to the sky. Let it fall out to the left and bring that left shoulder towards the floor. Hold this rotation here. Deep breath in and slowly bring it back to center. Place both feet on the floor, lift your hips up, center your hips down on the floor. Now find a good place for you. You can either extend your legs out, you can bring the bottoms of your feet together, the knees fall open wide, or you could lift your hips and put the block underneath your hips and bring your legs up to the sky. So find a good place for you to hold here. Bring your arms out to the side, your palms face up. Let your fingers curl naturally. Let your shoulders get heavy. Tuck your chin so your neck is long. Let all the muscles in your face, your jaw, your forehead relax. Let your hips get heavy. Huge breath in. And try that ujjayi breath where you feel the breath at the back of your throat, the roof of your mouth. Really lengthening your exhale. So long with that exhale. And allow yourself to relax. Absorbing that positive energy and Strength into the body with your breath in. And releasing tension with your breath out, feeling light and peaceful. One more huge breath in with me. Fill your whole body with your breath in. And that long, slow breath out. If your legs are wide, use your hands on your outer thighs to help bring your knees in together. Bring your knees in towards your chest. The blocks on the you, you can remove that. Bring your knees in towards your chest, gently rock side to side, keeping your lower back towards the floor. Feel that massage and bring space to that lower back. And center, huge breath in and fold your whole body to the right with a releasing exhale. Slowly come up to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. So draw your navel and lift your heart. Bring your shoulders up, back, and down. Really opening up your heart here. Tuck your chin slightly. Bring your arms overhead with a huge breath in. Reach way up to the sky. Keep this height and lengthen your spine throughout your day. Bring your hands down to your heart center. 
pressing your hands evenly but softly together, feeling centered, balanced, and strong. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. And have an awesome day. And thank you all for joining me today. I hope you feel good. Thank you, Colleen. Namaste.